Good morning, lights. When I think of my personal journey towards the goals of ascension and entering a new world, I sometimes think of preparing for a grand feast. I do all the preparations. I set the table. And now I wait for the feast to begin, for the journey. To start. You are about to enter a magnificent age of possibilities. I promise you this. You've been anticipating and preparing for this very moment your entire life. But be excited now, for the next chapter of your life will soon begin. It is finally your turn. This is your chance. The new planet has arrived. Gaia's golden era has finally come. And with it comes the best wishes of Mother Nature for you, the Galactic Federation, and Ascended Masters of our planet are here to help you make the shift to the new reality that is being created. As you go ahead into the new earth, by offering you advice, insight and affection, they are helping you. This is the moment. This is the beginning of the end of your old existence. Every aspect of your day-to-day -day life will be altered by the vast and deep change in awareness that is now taking place. Also, it will have an impact on every individual on Earth. The golden era of Gaia, which is the result of this paradigm change, is known as New Earth. Mother Earth is revered in many ancient civilizations as Gaia. The Egyptians and the Greeks revered her as the goddess of the earth. The maternity, fertility and creation. And they called her our mother. When we die we shall return to unity field, where everything is one and Gaia will be there to welcome us home. It's a chance for us to reevaluate our lives and find fulfillment in what we do. You have to understand that Earth is a conscious, sentient creature. She's been here from the very beginning, so she can relate to our current predicament. In addition, she is aware that we have reached a point in our development when we can no longer remain in the third dimension and must go on to the fourth or fifth in order to teach those who are ready to be taught. Your physical body on the new earth will have a more crystalline structure than its existing carbon-based structure. Yet this is not merely another location on our globe. There are no constraints. 
on where you can go or how long you may remain there. We are about to enter a period of extraordinary prosperity. Humans and other creatures coexist peacefully in the golden age of Gaia. A period when the planet's natural beauty and fertility have been fully restored and people no longer need to compete with one another for resources. The new world or new paradigm are other names for this concept. Several individuals have formerly held the reins of power in our global society. Everyone you've ever seen in the media, whether on TV, in a movie, or in the news, have been motivated by something different. At your disposal in the modern day are limitless opportunities to create harmony and beauty in whatever way you see fit. I'm talking to you right now to tell you about my hopes for the future. There will come a day when you will be able to work and live in an area with infinite tree, clean energy, no pollution or dangerous chemicals, no financial concerns. In fact, you'll be set up for a life filled with plenty and happiness. Although this may seem like science fiction at the moment, the possibility of really experiencing it is already within reach. With the use of your own willpower and self-awareness, you can create whatever you can imagine. You don't have to get permission from anybody to a greater extent, good fortune will favor you. You have put off entering the magnificent era of your possibilities for a long time. Maybe because you felt unprepared or unsure of yourself. It's time for you to start making adjustments and reconnecting with nature and the people around you. The start of this new age will usher in unprecedented transformations. When the new consciousness emerges, it will disintegrate all previously held beliefs, concerns, and ways of thinking, ushering in a new era for Gaia you'll get the ability to hold your ideas lightly as you come to understand that they are in a constant state of flux. To find happiness, you must totally embrace the present moment. What is ahead of us in the next months is nothing short of extraordinary as we get to experience the whole range of human possibility. Keep in mind that the ascent to success is not a race or a competition, as you make your own journey. It is an exercise in fortitude and determination, a battle of will over force. Hold on tight and take advantage of this exciting trip. The new world or new paradigm are the names given for this concept. You have to bear in mind that Earth is a conscious, sentient creature. She's been here from the very beginning, so she can relate to our current predicament. In addition, she is aware that we have reached the point in our development when we can no longer remain in the third dimension and must go on to the fourth or fifth in order to teach those who are ready to be taught. 
you are ready. I know you don't feel that way. I know you feel like you have so much more to learn. But I am telling you that you are ready. There are no constraints on where you can go or how long you may remain there. We are about to enter a period of extraordinary prosperity for you, for your loved ones, and your community. As always, my dear friends, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Driven through the darkness Looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the way Breaking into peace